All right, you guys, 2022 has been a rocky start to the year. Seriously, it has been. All right, you guys, you know what? I got the sage here, not for gimmicks, not for decor. Well, it is kind of for decor in my house. Anyways, you guys, no, seriously, 2022 has really been kicking our butts and we need to cleanse that out, bring in the positivity, positive energy into our lives, into our world. So let's go ahead and do that now before we get started into this video. What am I doing all this? No, seriously though, seriously. We need to ground ourselves. Hey everyone, it's Carl's here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, so hopefully <laughs> that didn't scare you away, the little intro. Anyways, you guys, no, seriously, I really need to kind of like regroup, cleanse my workspace, cleanse my mind, because I feel like 2022 has really brought in little pieces of 2020 and 2021 into the new year. And I'm like, I'm I'm not here for it. I'm, I'm not here for it. No, I'm not. So I seriously needed to like cleanse my space, my mind. <sighs> You get what I'm trying to say, right? Anyways, how do you guys like my background? Remember I told you guys I was working on the background? I was like tearing down stuff. Seriously, I really was. I put on some wallpaper. And what you see behind me, this is, this is actually kind of hilarious, but also very emotional. There's posters behind me that I had since I was a child, since I was a teenager. Can you believe that? I am 42. I don't remember. Um, I think so. 42, 43. I don't know. Anyways, you guys, so seriously, I have, there's posters hanging behind me that I've had since I was a teenager. So putting them up, redoing my studio to reflect me, my personality of who I am back then and currently am right now, I figured, you know, what better way to do it is to bring in stuff that represents me. So that is my background. I will definitely be keeping up to him. I will keep adding on as I go through some of my stock and see what I put away since I was a child. Seriously. Anyways, you guys. So yeah, this brings back so much memories. I got Debbie Gibson. Wait, no. Wait, which my left, my right. You got Debbie Gibson, Tiffany. I, wait, you can't even see her, right? <laughs> Too well. You got a Vira. Her head's cut off. So today's video, I am doing a collaboration for Valentine's Day with four other fantastic YouTubers. That is right. I am collaborating with four other YouTubers to create a kind of like our own interpretation of a Valentine's Day makeup look. So I will be collaborating with Mary Catherine Loves Cats, Laura the Bargain Hunter, uh, CC Trial Size Life. And this one, I absolutely love the name. It's hilarious. To me, it is. I'm not sure why. I think it's just adorable how the name is. But it's Sips and Lips and Makeup Tricks. I thought that's so cute and adorable. I've never met her before. I mean, all of the other YouTubers I follow and they follow me, but this is the first time I'm actually collaborating with someone that I never had the privilege to watch their videos until recently. She's great. She really is. And so being able to work with someone else through direct messaging, you know, sharing our thoughts and opinions on stuff, it's, it's really refreshing. Anyways, you guys, so as I mentioned, I will include a link directly to their channel in the description field below so you can go ahead and check them out as well. All right, you guys, so before we get started on the video, I really need to fix this face because as you can see, I look like, <laughs> why do all that? I look tired and just drained. Like, oh my God, I haven't recorded a video in two weeks. So <laughs> let's see where this takes us. Anyways, you guys, so let's go ahead and get this face fixed up first. <laughs> I cannot talk. Let's go ahead and get this face fixed up first. And then we'll get right into the eyeshadow look that we're going to be creating for you guys today. So without further ado, let me go ahead and fix my face up for you guys. All right, you guys, so my face is completely done. So to complete the overall look, we're gonna go ahead and create an eyeshadow look. So in today's eyeshadow look um, palette that we're gonna be using, it went blank for just a brief moment. We're gonna actually be using the Glam Late Cupcake Palette. Why, you may ask? Just because it looks very, I don't know, Valentine-ish, Valentine-ish. 
I have no clue what I'm saying. I, I just think the shades in this particular palette actually do flow quite well in terms of Valentine's Day. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, you guys, so if you've never seen this palette before, let me go and show you really quickly. So it does come in this really cute PR little box. Oops, almost fell out. Well, technically it did. All right, but it gives you the illusion that it's coming right out of the, out of the, well, the right out of the oven. I swear I cannot get my words right. All right, so that is the front of the palette. Little cute little things in here. What do you call these little, they're like sprinkles, but obviously they're not sprinkles. Do you know what I mean, right? In the back of it, nutrition facts, super adorable. If you've never heard of Clam, why can't I talk? That's all the time. Why am I always like this? But whatever. Anyways, if you've never heard of Glam Light Cosmetics, basically overall their makeup is pretty much themed over like food concept products, if that makes any sense. All right, so let me go ahead and show you the inside right here. So those are the shades that we will be working with today. Does that mean I'm going to be using all of the shades in this particular palette? Absolutely not. That would be really crazy. But I am going to go ahead and use this particular palette to create the overall eyeshadow look today. All right, that was a hot mess. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first shade I'm going to be using is the shade Buttery. And the reason I'm going to be using this is because I'm going to be using that as my transition shade. All right, the first brush I'm going to be using is a Laura Lee Los Angeles makeup brush. This is from the Happy Birthday Collection. The brush style number is L28. And the reason I'm going to be using this particular brush because it is more narrow and it gives off that fine tip precision where it allows me to hopefully get a little bit more precise as to where I'm going to be applying the eyeshadow. So the next brush I'm going to be using, it is a Morphe E36. And the reason I'm going to be using this particular brush, because it does have a smaller overall brush tip. This way, if I apply the actual eyeshadow product, it's going to give me a little bit more control as to where I'm applying it. And I'm actually going to be applying it directly right on the actual eye crease itself. Now the next shade I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using the shade Sweet Cravings. And as I mentioned, I'm going to apply that directly right onto the eye crease itself. So the next shade I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using this shade Super Moist. And the reason I'm going to be using that shade, it's actually of a dark purple. At least it appears so in the pan. And I'm going to apply that directly on the outer corner of my eyes just to darken up that eye area right there. I'm going to be using also the same brush I just got done using, which was the Morphe E36 brush. So the next shade I'm going to be using is the Red Velvet shade, which is the only red shade in this particular palette. I'm going to be applying this directly right next to the last shade that I used, pretty much in the center of my eyelid. I am going to be using the same brush, which was the Morphe E36. All right, so to soften the look overall in the inner corner of my eyes, I'm gonna go into this particular palette. It is the Makeup Revolution Pro New Neutral Smoked Palette. Now, the shade I'm gonna be using from this particular palette is actually two of them. I'm gonna be using the shade Deceived, and right on top of that, I'm gonna be using the shade Trigger. Now, the brush I'm gonna be using, it is a Morphe M506 brush. And again, I'm gonna apply that directly in the inner corner of my eyes and right below the brown bone area just to soften up the overall look. So that completes my overall look. Definitely leave a comment below. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on how this look came out. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Hopefully you guys like it. All right, so off camera, I did went ahead and applied some mascara and also put on some lips. So I have lips, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? So just in case if you want to know which mascara I end up using, this is from Stila. This is the Huge Last Mascara in black. And now in terms of the lip products I end up using from, I believe, 2019, these limited edition mini lap, ooh, MAC lip 
sticks <laughs> couldn't come out um i have a hard time reading this so if i can get the information in terms of the shade names i will include that in the description field below because this is so tiny i can barely read and then right on top of that i end up using this fenty beauty mini lip gloss right here also same issue the font is so tiny anyway so as you notice i did create an ombre look to kind of go with the actual eyeshadow look itself and you know me i love an I love can talk. I love a smoky eye look overall. I think it's very pleasing. I think it's easy to achieve. Some people get intimidated by it, but by any means, don't. It's really universal, believe it or not, creating a smoky eye look. All right, you guys. So as I mentioned, this video is a collaboration video with four other fantastic YouTubers. If you haven't done so already after the video, make sure you head over to their channels and see exactly what looks they created. But I, as I mentioned, will include a link in the description field below so you can go ahead and check them out. So just so you guys know, this is a giveaway video, believe it or not, absolutely 100%. I love doing collaborations when we do them. We want to treat you guys to something good. So all the rules, mm -hmm, all the rules will be in the description field below. So make sure you check that out so you know exactly how and what you need to do in order to win. So you may ask, well, what's in the get? What's in the giveaway? <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm going to be giving out a brand new Glam Light Cupcake Palette. Yes, this is brand new. I haven't used it, as you can see. Shrink wrap and everything. I think it's very perfect for Valentine's Day. Of course, you may not receive it by then, but at least you have it in your collection. And the other palette that I'm going to be giving you guys, it is also the same one that I use. It's not, a, it's not the used one. It is the Makeup Revolution Pro Palette. Again, as I mentioned, it is the new neutral smoked palette this is actually a really beautiful palette all right you guys so as i mentioned definitely check out the description field below how many times have i said that in the video Ch description field but you get what i'm trying to say so if you want to know exactly the rules and what you need to do you gotta go downstairs you know what i mean <laughs> read the information below and find out how you need to subscribe in order to win all right you guys so if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button and while you're at it also hit the notification bell as well so anytime i upload new videos you automatically get the notifications and give my video a thumbs up as well if you really did enjoy it if not still give it a thumbs up because <laughs> because i'm special and i love thumbs up <laughs> anyways you guys until then make sure you all brush your teeth Watch your culo and subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. Bye now.